You've got to stay. Lord. You've got to stay. Stay, Lord. You've got to stay.
dead, the power to teach, the power to preach, the power to raise the dead.
but he shows he's at you in education. <laughs>
These are all lads from our country, aren't they? Lads from Galilee by the sound of them. And how is it that we can all understand what they're saying? I mean, we're Parthians ourselves, and we know what they're on about. What about the rest of you? The and the elements. Where, Where are the rest of the area? single one of you who can't understand them? It's some sort of sign, but what does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? He's like been drinking! Oh, oh, Don't listen to him. Jews from Jerusalem, Jews from all over the place, listen to me. Well, these people aren't drunk, as you seem to imagine. Why, it's only nine in the morning. The pubs aren't even open yet. <laughs> What you see here is nothing more or less than the fulfillment of the prophecy of Joel. God says this, In the last days I will pour out upon everyone a portion of my spirit. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. And your young men shall see visions. Yes, I will give even my slaves, both men and women, a portion of my spirit, and they'll speak out. God promised it would happen, and well, it has. Listen, I want to talk about a man named Jesus of Nazareth, a man singled out by the miracles and signs which God performed through him. You saw them, you know, but he had been given up to you. He used heathen men to kill and crucify him. But God raised him to life again, setting him free from the pangs of death, because death could not keep him in its grip. <coughs> this Jesus has been raised up by God, I tell you. We are all witnesses to this. When the appointed time had come, God gave Jesus the Holy Spirit, and now everything you see and hear flows from him. Let everyone take a certain that God has made this Jesus, whom you crucified, both our Lord and our Savior. Friend, what are we to do? Do? Save yourselves from this crooked age. Repent. Repent to be baptized for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the Holy Spirit. Don't listen to him. What a lot of rubbish! Drunk, as I suppose. Listen, listen to me. This message is for you, and for your children, and for all those who are far away, everyone whom the Lord our God may call. Repent, friends. Repent and be baptized for the forgiveness of your sins in the name of Jesus, and you, you will receive the Holy Spirit. Got. There's 
a time to get, there's a time to get. Though my nature man is a wizard, there's a time to hoard. But I declare that the time has come to share, share, share. If you have to share, then give one more way. If you have to start, still the same my way. Your brother's need is your affair, and the time has come to share, share, share. So hungry will they be not be in the wealthy world that the eyes to see. There's an hour for all, and then the prayer, and the spirit lead, and share, share, share. If we only learn to care about each other.
don't mind admitting, I'm scared stiff. Cheer up, Andy. You know, things are never as bad as they look. Well, I don't like the look of this prison. Just look at those bars. Look at that door. It would take a battering ram just to break that down. We're never going to get out here alive. I begin to believe you, Andy. But what can we do? Do? Well, what else can we do but pray? Matthew, why don't you lead us? There's pride, there's bloom that leads to suicide There's temper and there's cruel 
you were given specific instructions to stop this preaching about Jesus of Nazareth. What have you done? What have you done? You have filled Jerusalem with your teachings and blatantly disobeyed our orders. You seem quite determined to pin the responsibility for this man's death on us. On us! Why can't you just do as you're told? They've been preaching in the streets, my lord. They've been teaching in the synagogue, my lord. They've been speaking in the crowds in the temple, my lord. They've been healing the sick, my lord.
In just a couple of minutes, we're going to have the, uh, the reports, find out what's going on around with the church. Before we do that, let's sing one of our favorite hymns for the mighty moving of thy spirit. <laughs> Peter 
you're helping yourself to all this here. And I said to God, all kind of proud, this foreign food is not allowed. That's how it was. I replied just like a Pharisee. Well, this foreign food is not for me. Don't you call bad what I call good? That's how it was. Heaven split before my eyes. She came down to my surprise. And on the sheet was laid a feast. Every type of bird and beast. Every time the dream came back to me, it was as clear as clear to me. I heard the voice, I saw the food. Don't you call bad what I call good? Gone, some men came here, and they took me off to Caesarea. They deserted us there, these foreign folk. They asked me, so I rose and spoke. That's how it was. There they all were Arabs, Romans, Greeks, Spaniards. I've never seen such a mixed bunch in all my life. Men, women, children, all crammed the room to stifling point. I can tell you I was scared stiff, but I remembered my dream. Thank God for that vision. The dream I had came back to me. These foreigners attracted me. I've been wrong in my attitude. Type of man will not exclude. Message of my vision is the kingdoms of the world are his. I heard the voice, I saw the food. Big 
we have before us today one of the worst cases of blasphemy has ever been my misfortune to me. Here is a member of that despicable sect called Christians who proclaim that that mangoon poop from Nazareth, that clumsy carpenter, is nothing else than the Messiah! <laughs> Savior indeed! Couldn't save himself. This man has been warned several times to hold his tongue. But nothing will stop him, I fear. Nothing that is but death. With the court's leave, I propose to call several witnesses. We've heard him using blasphemous language against the law and against God. This fellow has been making inflammatory speeches against our religion and against his rules and regulations. We heard him say that this Jesus is going to destroy the town. We heard him say that Jesus is going to alter all the rules and change everything. How on earth can a dead man do that?
his side, my friend. Why not think the matter through? Time is always on your side, my friend. If these men have all been dreaming, or been plotting, or been scheming, then in spite of all their frothing, what they do will come to nothing. Damning them may seem exciting, but it could be God you're fighting, my friend. My friend. My friend. Why do you resist me? Why are you against me? My Lord, I hear you are. I am a Jesus. Why do you resist me? Because going your own way is hard. I can't 
sick.
song and sea. If I could know the reason why the world is what it is, why every human being is unique.
Excuse me for a second, folks. Uh, this has been a long haul. Uh, seven months. We started back, I think, September. This is Ivany. Yeah, right after the summer. You can sit down, folks. Uh, in, in between that, uh, I've been married. I think we stopped uh, briefly on, on a Friday night so we could, uh, we could get married and prepare for the next day. Uh, we've gone through Christmas. A few stops in there. Uh, it's been a very long haul for the last uh, 
number of uh, well, the last month, uh, you know, we've been uh, to London, we've been to Chicago, uh, and here we are tonight. Um, I feel honored to do this. I was asked last night, just before uh, we uh, we went on. Uh, personally, I, I want to thank Mrs. Ivany for uh, catching that vision and. Uh, Helped me catch it. I know she was a little confused when I brought her over to my work to uh, see this structure here without any paintings or anything on.